number of questions over over the summer and I've enjoyed communicating those uh, messages out about the state of the industry and that we are in a global marketplace and we have got a good pro quality product. Having said that, I think there's opportunities as well in looking at export markets and I think it's crucial that we identify profitable markets that pay a fair and sustainable price for our farmers and whales. The whole of Germany and they're covering Austria and Switzerland too. There's another target market which we call the Weber man, the Weber grill man. It's a mainly male target market and where people or where men used to compete or compare each other, compare against each other by comparing their wine cellars and talking about cigars or uh, possibly talking about um, wine, uh, whiskies. Um, now the German consumer, the German male consumer with a high income tends to know everything about meat so they know the grades of marbling very well they know exactly how much time you need to dry age a steak etc etc and these are people who really buy huge Weber grills and rather than having a big Porsche they will now differentiate themselves by buying the Weber grills and they know exactly what to put on that grill and um, that's where we are right now we're talking to them and we're very very keen to work cooperate with Weber also in Germany to create this real um, understanding for PGI Welsh Lamb because our story really fits into their mindset. Export market development of s appropriate quantity to appropriate target markets is very important and generally quite promising because the world is eating more protein and although a lot of that will be pork and poultry, um, the long-term prospects for increased beef and sheep uh, sheep meat um, consumption are very good and we are an important player certainly in the sheep market and a very niche player in the beef market but there are there is scope for us to export more. The influx of refugees into Germany absolutely will be an important driver for that market. There are already a substantial number of Turkish people in, in Germany. We have a million extra people coming in from, from Syria who by preference would, would, would eat lamb and mutton. Um, and also veal, and that's a substantial number of people with, with lamb being their meat of preference, and um, that's a market that's very well worth, worth targeting. It's overtaken by the proportion of the country that shops in Aldi, or the proportion of the country that shops in Lidl. Obviously you'd have to be living in a cave if you didn't know uh, from the business pages or even on the front of the tabloids that companies like Tesco, Morrisons and so on are in trouble because of the loss of sales to the German-owned discounters Aldi and Lidl. Um, that is really changing the whole category of the market and of course as far as meat is concerned these um, retailers are very important because the growth rates we're seeing for Aldi are about 30 to 40 percent per annum. Uh, in meat and similarly about 20 to 30 percent for little so these are very important numbers which you can't ignore you know wh whether you like it or not that's just what's happening so that's one of the key things uh, then you've got a situation where um, you have an extreme seasonality of something like lamb I mean lamb to Easter is turkeys to Christmas it's the same sort of extreme seasonality and that makes it very difficult to manage in logistical terms you either miss the boat or else the New Zealand's get on the boat instead of you um, and it means very important to make sure you manage the sales after the Easter peak otherwise uh, you get a big sort of shadow after Easter and, and nobody's selling anything. We know that consumers in Wales would love to buy Welsh produce all year round so there is really a challenge for the supermarkets to meet that desire that our Welsh consumers have. Um, it's really important that when our Welsh consumers are in the supermarkets that they see Welsh produce on display so sourcing policies and advertising policies where products are placed in store are really important in terms of giving our Welsh farmers the best opportunity to sell their produce to Welsh consumers. What do you think most people would go for with the shoulder? Bone and roll. One of the things I learned and enjoyed the most was the butcher's demonstration. Many of many questions which was asked there, which was very interesting to me, and I learned much because I well, one woman said um, she hated lamb because she tasted a bad lamb, and that put her off for 15 years. And I know now that we might be losing customers by selling tough lamb at the wrong time of the year, maybe. It's, it's the probably most important part. Coming to conferences like this, it really helps just to gain more knowledge and helps just to see various other young farmers who have done it, who have had the scholarship of HCC, going out and investigating their own questions and implementing it on their own farms at home. I've been very much inspired today by the conference as we sell lambs at home so I can take something back home 
from the from today and to maximize what we can sell to the market. Mm -hmm.